skincare routine with okay so what are we doing today we are going to do a dermaplane with a very deep hydration so you can look young and brighter as usual <music> remove like fuzzy hair from the face so it's kind of a microdermabrasion but it will give you the benefit to get rid of like very tiny fuzzy hair and after we put a of hydroxyast to make a exfoliation more complete and keep the skin looking glowing I like that <laughs> Let's say a small blade, it's a very secure kind of tool to use. It's not something scary, it has a very round tip, which avoids some nibbing on the skin. And it's very simple, it just it looks like it's taking off dust off the skin, but the skin will look and feel very smooth and very clean and very hydrated afterwards. fuzzy hair and it really looks like a little dust that comes off of the skin uh -huh. so it's kind of like the microdermabrasion in a way no exactly but the difference is that this uh, also remove like the very fuzzy hair the baby hair uh -huh. and as opposed to a lot of people think it's not going to make the hair to grow thick or uh -huh. stubborn this is a bellows hair that's uh -huh. the hair that we are born it's like since we are baby it doesn't make any difference. Okay.
the skin of course reflect the movement of the blade and you can see little tiny hairs that they are like bellows hairs baby hair this hair that sometimes you cannot even see but for women will make a difference if this velo hair velo's hair is removed because it will not absorb the makeup when you apply makeup foundation and powder sometimes when you have a lot of very thin hair the makeup will kind of hold on this hair it can be visible depends of how the light will hit the skin so they really love the results so all of this was on my skin yes that's so crazy that's, mm, like so this hair. is like all dirt and dead cells and everything exactly so the difference is that the microdermabrasion is going to be more of a mechanic process of rubbing the skin uh -huh. and the skin can get a little bit red like momentaneously red in the derma plane the skin will look at regular colors uh -huh. but of course each treatment will be used for different needs not one size fits all for some dermaplane will be better for the one maybe microdermabrasion will be better choice for a treatment so is this normal like do people have this everybody yes and yeah actually you don't have too much uh, some people uh, it's more visible it depends how they take care of the skin if they do the correct exfoliation so they will not have so much dead cells but also someone with a more oily skin will tend to have more visible dead cells coming off um, and sometimes can be just like the hair that creates this impression that's a lot of stuff again some people have more fuzzy hair other people don't would you suggest doing this in the winter or more during the summer? All year round. All year There's round. no problem to do it winter time, summer time. Of course, if you are exposing to the sun, going to the beach, you don't want to do for at least like four or five days after skiing. If it uh, has been being exposed, it may be a little bit sensitive for any type of friction, any type of process that's going to be remove a lot of dead cells is always wait for at least like five seven days after you come from the beach or being going to the pool on a daily basis 